for the visiting Cleveland Cavaliers. At small forward, Max Struess. At the point guard, Darius Garland. At center, Jared Allen. At the other forward position, Evan Mobley. At the other guard position, Donovan Mitchell. And coach of the visiting team, J. B. Bickerstaff. Introducing the 25 for your Utah Jazz. At the small forward position, standing six foot five, number eight. Right. At the other forward position, at 6'9", number zero, Caleb Hendricks. Running a point, 6'4", number three, Keate George. In the middle, at 6'9", number 20, John Collins. The other guard, at 6'3", number 2, Paulin Sexton. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports, an April Fool's Day edition. Glad to have you with us. Hello, basketball fans. Brian Anderson here, courtside with Doris Burke and Grant Hill. Our reporter is Allie LaForce. Let's see some of the numbers here for Darius Garland. And for an idea of where his offense is right now, take a look at his true shooting percentage decreasing over the last five games. He desperately needs to find his stroke tonight. Here are the five for the Cavaliers. And a lot of size for him. With both Mobley and Allen watching the paint. Garland runs point with Mitchell at the two. And it's Struess in at the three. And for the Jazz, George out there with Colin Sexton. Then there's John Collins. And it's Sensabaugh in at the three slot. Coming down the home stretch here. Almost to the finish line, Doris. Truly an exciting part of the year. Well, exciting for us, B.A., but it can be a bit anxious anxiety producing for some of these teams depending on where your team sits this could be one of the most uncomfortable portions of the season are you in the playoffs do you have to go to the play-in do you like your matchup there's a lot of questions at this time of year and collins with the big block and it's out of bounds to cleveland and the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block I mean, letting them know up front that he's on the hunt tonight and eager to knock away shots. I love it. Clock at six. And there's Mitchell on the assist by Struess. And so George will bring it up for Utah. This game coming after the loss versus the Kings. It's simple. Your defense has to be razor sharp on the road. You really want to take the crowd out of the game. Easier said than done. And I'll tell you this. It looked like they wanted to get out of town as quickly as possible. The problem is their defense went with them. Here's Sensible. Outside for Sexton. Over Mitchell. Sexton. That's good. Well, this is what you call finding angles to come off in the catch-and-shoot situation. Nice job by Colin Sexton. Outside Mitchell. It's a mark. And he lays it in. Well, the touch and the focus. What a pretty move in the lane. George scanning the floor. Pass to Sensiball. Collins with a screen on Struess. Here's Sensiball. 
and he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That's his first personal foul. Well, the last few years, defense has been the calling card for the Cavaliers. Yeah, a lot of that has to do with their big men. Not only do they have the length and size, they've got tremendous agility and are able to switch on to the perimeter as well. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. And Graham, despite the lack of a superstar offensive weapon, the Jazz, one of the more efficient offenses. Yeah, B.A. And two areas where they separate themselves, they shoot a ton of threes, and they do a really good job tracking down those long rebounds on the offensive glass. It's both from the strike. And Doris, when the Utah Jazz traded away Rudy Gobert, some questioned if it was the right move. Well, some may have questioned it, but I believe it was correct. They had maximized that roster and hadn't gotten to where they wanted to go. You get four unprotected picks and a pick swap, that sets them up nicely for the future. Now here's Garland. And he's been a big part of their offense, averaging more than 18 points a game. Guys, how often do you see an alley-oop designed for your guard? Donovan Mitchell defies explanation. Here's George. And the first quarter of action, two minutes in. Pass to Sensabaugh. Here's George. Left side, Sexton. Out to the wing. Here's Sensabaugh. Releases from the wing and drills it. Now here's Garland. And here's Mobley. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. 80% from the field to start. Playing with a ton of confidence. Utah trailing here. George outside. Pass to Sensabaugh. George is screened on Struess. Here's Sensible. And there's another one for the Jazz. And so it's Garland who brings up the ball for Cleveland. Outside Mitchell. Back to Garland. Outside Mitchell. Now here's Mobley. Outside Struess. Gets the three ball to go. Well, Evan Mobley might be a big man, but boy, how about the touch on that pass right there? And here's George making a mark on the offensive end, scoring around 13 a game. Sexton against Mitchell. George outside. Pass to Sexton. Shot clock at five. George outside. Fires from deep. Cavaliers with a rebound. Last time they met was in Cleveland. Because they took initiative and went right at the defense, a lot of the calls went in their favor. Two things are a product of that. One, you shoot a ton of freebies. Two, the other team goes deep into its rotation. Neither one of those two things is going to work. Pass to Hendricks. Here's Sensible, covered by Struess. Sensible, no good. Well, if the defense gives him that shot next time, they could get burned. I think he's just a little bit out of rhythm. Now Mitchell. He's coming off a 13-point game against Denver. Three-pointer, no good. The Jazz have gone three of five here in the opening quarter. Mitchell against Sexton. Here's Sensible. Coming off a 22-point game against the Kings in Sacramento. Well, in addition to the scoring, he found ways to initiate contact from the defense and get himself to the line. The defense clearly frustrated trying to get a way to stop him. And the Cavaliers with possession here. After the basket by Utah. Back to Mitchell. Mobley, a screen on Sexton. Mitchell can't get that one to fall. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Pass to Sensible. And there's the screen. Inside. Here's Hendricks. Oh, 
Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That's his first. It's going to be Evan Mobley. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Cavaliers? They've done a great job facilitating so far. So moving the rock and finding the open man, just great selfless basketball. And they've also shown dominance in the paint so far tonight, really putting the work in down low. The first free throw is good. And what you love about the Cavs, on most nights, they take really good shots, Grant. Uh, they do, B.A. I mean, I love the way they work the ball into the painted area. And even their guards are constantly penetrating, getting into the paint, creating for themselves and their teammates. And he makes both free throws. When it comes to the Utah Jazz, it's evident that they are in rebuild mode, Grant. Yeah, you know, B.A., after trading away both Rudy Gobert and Donovan Mitchell in the summer of 22, the Jazz are focused on starting new and building a team with young talent. Now here's Struess. An important role in this offense, averaging around 12 and a half per game. George against Garland. Outside. Pass to Sensabaugh. Oh, rejected by Allen. Boy, you've got to watch those long arms of Jared Allen. Twice on the pipe, send it back. Garland, the pass to Allen. On the wing, Mitchell. Here's Garland. Takes a three. Drills it from deep. This is one of the game's better three-point shooters. Darius Garland in the house. George against Garland. Pass to Sensabaugh. Oh, what a finish in traffic! My goodness! Well, I'm telling you, this guy is doing everything he can to get them where they want to be. He's been on a mission in this period. Back to Mobley. And Mobley throws it down. Oh, my goodness. The size and athleticism of Evan Mobley. What a sight to behold. Up top, Collins. Pass to Sensabaugh. And he lobs it up top. And then it's Collins with the dunk. Throw it anywhere near Collins. He'll take care of the rest. Putting his athleticism in length to perfect use. Outside Mitchell. Garland for three. The rebound by the Jazz. Yeah, you know, he usually makes you pay from that range. George outside. Pass to Sensabaugh. Fires from 14. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That's his first personal foul. Well, we see the young star talent for the Cavaliers, Doris. But where do they need to improve? I think the big challenge is making sure you have quality depth. The East obviously has changed. It is so much tougher than it had been in the past. The back end of that rotation is proving so significant to your success. That free throw, no good. Clarkson's checked in for Utah. And Cleveland with a change here, too. Levert's checked in for Donovan Mitchell. And he sinks the second. Garland with the ball, and he's been a big part of their offense, averaging more than 18 points a game. Allen with a screen on George. Garland finds Allen. Pass to Struess. This one for three, bearing his second of three attempts. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. And here's George. He'll bring it up for Utah. Trailing by four, Collins. Collins with the jam. 
a growing aspect of George's game. He's working to become a strong facilitator. Ooh, a great look there. Brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. And the Cavaliers with possession here. Garland scanning the floor. Mobley, a screen on George. Back to Mobley. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. And Doris, the feeling around the league is Evan Mobley could win Defensive Player of the Year multiple times. You know, B.A., I think that's on point. And the reason it is is because his effectiveness is not limited to shot blocking. This guy is excellent both on the ball and in help situations. Yes, he blocks a ton of shots, but the fact that he alters even more is as impactful. And he does this all at such a young age without getting into serious foul trouble. Look out, league. Evan Mobley is going to get better and better. First one falls for him. Boy, no question, Evan Mobley is brimming with potential, and you love his attitude, his work ethic. This guy, the sky's the limit. Kessler, he's checked in for Utah. Dunn comes in for George. Niang, he's checked in for Cleveland. Okoro comes in for Struess. And both free throws good for Mobley. Utah. And the Jazz call time here. Who wants a team And check out the NBA's top three-point shooters over the course of the past month. The fourth spot held by John Collins. Sometimes you get into a rhythm from long range, and you can ride that stretch for a while. For Utah, they've gotten seven of their ten shots to fall. Pass to Hendricks. And George Niang gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. First personal foul. Fourth team foul. On defense, the Cavaliers. Four-point game. From the left block. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. Sweet jumper from Chris Dunn. Getting that touch better and better. Niang outside. Pass to Garland. Niang a screen. Beyond the arc. And Darius Garland good for three. Garland's got six. Got to fight harder to get over those screens. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. And that one's good. Clarkson. Well, Jordan Clarkson, a nice, efficient look there. Boy, that'll help your percentages. Now here's LeBert. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Denver. And what a wrecking ball defensively, seen by the four steals he had in that game. Barry's hit from three. Three points. Both teams are hot. Woo! This is a fun one to watch. Well, you love it when you can get off to a fast start offensively. You hate it, though, when your opponent does the same. Now here's Collins. He's been contributing over 15 a game. Yeah, that's just a nice pass. This was one of college basketball's premier playmakers done showing great vision. Pass to Morris. Levert outside. Morris, a screen on Clarkson. Here's Levert. Back to Morris. Collins comes with a double. Four on the clock. Levert, that's good. Levert. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Utah trailing here. And here's Clarkson. His offense has been fantastic. Averaging just over 17 a game. Kessler, a screen. Takes the three. They grab their own miss. And here's Collins for three. Sends it home from three-point land. Nine points in the game. And we think of Clarkson often as a scorer, but there, making the unselfish pass, just great work. Clarkson against LeVert.
misses. Five to shoot. He shoots. Collins with the rebound. Hard to turn down a look that good. Still, long twos are losing favor, and misses like that are the reason why. Great rim protection to prevent him from converting. Beautiful. Pass to Garland. To the wing on the left. Cleveland needs to get off a shot. The shot by Levert, no good. Three seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Don outside. Collins with a screen on Garland. Here's Dunn. Can't connect from 13 feet out. Now Garland, the egg outside. And the basket's good. Off the assist from Garland. Garland's got his fourth assist with that last one. And so it's the Cleveland Cavaliers closing out this quarter with a seven-point lead. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team. And more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way right after this. just joining us we played through one quarter in this one and what stands out to you from the Cavaliers in this one well clearly they played well in the first period because of their selfless attitude I'll tell you that willingness to make the extra pass that is what creates good looks it also forces the defense to scramble on the court right now for Cleveland Garland runs point with Mitchell at the two George Niang out there with Karis LeVert. And it's Morris in at center, filling out the middle. Cleveland has gotten 7 of 12 three-point attempts to fall. Here's Mitchell. Grown man points from Donovan Mitchell. He drops yet another dime, just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Time now to hear from our reporter, Allie LaForce. Hey, Brian. Donovan Mitchell is a man of the people. He said, quote, just being in the community, whether it's going to high school games or barbecues, you never know what that one moment will do for a child. I'm forever grateful that I'm able to do that and get that reaction, and I will continue to do that throughout my life. Guys? Yeah, terrific stuff there, Allie. Thanks for that. Now here's Garland. They lead by the biggest margin of the game at nine. Will Grant is the managing director of the U.S. men's national team. You've got to see the wealth of international talent firsthand. It's so true, B.A. I mean, I've got so much respect for the international game. You know, over 25% of the players in the NBA right now are international players, and they produce superstar talents like Doncic, Giannis, Embiid, and Jokic. The U.S. has more competition now than ever. Now here's Garland. From downtown. Nope, that one misses. Now three for five. Utah shooting 61% for the game. Knocking him down. And that one's good. Clarkson. They're punishing those late defensive rotations. Getting good looks inside throughout the half. Mitchell feeling it out a bit. Niang a screen. Mitchell the pass to Morris. Outside for Mitchell. The three ball. Count it. And it's Morris with the assist. Mitchell's got five points now this quarter. <laughs> They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. On the wing, Sexton. Checked by Mitchell. Sexton against Mitchell. Down to five on the shot clock. For three. Levert with a rebound. For Cleveland, they've gotten three or four field goals in the second quarter. On the wing, Mitchell. 
again here in the second quarter of action. Just a hair under two and a half minutes played. The shot misses. The Jazz have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. Here's Dunn. Right now averaging five and a half a game. Pass to Salmonich. Back to Sexton. Rejected by Mitchell. How about the defense from Donovan Mitchell? This has not been a strong suit, but send it back, DM. Niang outside. And here's Garland. Shot clock at six. Niang a screen. Oh, he finds himself wide open and drills it. Garland's got 11 points. This guy is cooking right now. He is leading them on the offensive end as they remain in front here. When talking about Karis LeVert, he's someone that does whatever is asked of him, Grant. You know what, B.A.? You're right. <laughs> Whether he's starting or coming off the bench, he's ready to contribute and help his team any way he can. Time called here. Jazz decide to talk it over. Struess comes in for Darius Garland. And we take a look now at the season's most efficient scorers from around the league. The fourth spot held by Jared Allen. He's been fantastic scoring the ball, shooting it at a high clip. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Pass to Clarkson. Mitchell against George. Here's Sexton. Yes, and it's George picking up the assist. George has got three assists in the game. Well, the versatility he possesses makes him a very tough cover, guys. Now here's LeBert. Six points for him. On the take. And there are the Cavaliers with another bucket. Boy, I love the way Karis Levert is attacking. This guy is a skilled guard with tremendous speed. That's the sense of all. Now Kessler kicks it to George. Let's it go from deep. Sinks the tray. George has gotten himself going here. His first point of the game on the deep ball. Cleveland has gone two of three from beyond the arc so far in the second. The three from Mitchell. Kessler with a rebound. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. George passes to Clarkson. There's a screen. Kicks it to George. Six on the shot clock. Let's the three fly. Oh, what a kick! Jazz from deep. And there's a nice rhythm to his three-point shot. You know, George has a confident stroke. Lavert passes to Allen. Lavert goes against Sexton. The shot by Lavert, no good. George with it. He had an 18-point outing in their last game against Sacramento. I thought his physicality was crucial, too. You know, he kept the defense on their toes and repeatedly got to the free throw line. Sense of ball, no good. And it didn't fall, but still a great look. You know, it can be frustrating when you make the right play and fail to reap the rewards. You just have to stay with it here. Boy, it seems like every shot he puts up, it's going in. This guy is hot, hot. That's the sense of ball. Oh, an amazing finish with a hand right in his face. Sense of ball's got 13 now. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy, it takes activity, it takes intensity. Now here's LeBert. Liang, pass to Mitchell. Allen with a screen on George. And there's the lob. George with a steal. 13 feet out. The rebound by Allen. It's been that kind of quarter for him. The shot has just been unreliable. I see him, I see him. Now here's LeBert. Defense is right there. 
Pass to Nia. And here's Allen. Checked by Sexton. Well, why settle for the layup when you can finish with authority? Mr. Allen on the dunk. Here's Clarkson. Kessler with it. Here's Sensible. Knocks it loose. Launches it. And the rebound goes to the Cavaliers. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. They're coming off that loss against Denver. It was, frankly, embarrassing. I was shocked by their disorganization, and I think they were, too. Well, frankly, they should be shocked. I mean, that kind of effort simply won't cut it in today's NBA. Let's see if they take any lessons from it. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. The Cavaliers have gotten 8 of 12 attempts to drop since the beginning of the second. Pass to Levert. Now, Niang. Three-pointer. It's hauled in by Sensible. He has that confidence rolling, hitting two threes in the first, but he hasn't had one since. Here's Clarkson. The shot, no good. And it's Mitchell with the ball for the Cavaliers. 13-point lead. Struess with the bucket. They've now had assists on each of their last three buckets. Utah's gone two of five from distance here in the second quarter. Now here's Sexton. Coming off a 22-point game against the Kings in Sacramento. That one's wide left. Well, this guy cannot get started, and the offense overall has been a struggle because of it. Here's LeVert. The egg up top. Pulls it. Sexton grabs the board. Well, the Jazz shooting only 36% during the second. George against Struess. Here's Sensible. The Jazz again can't hit. How about the unselfishness of this team? Yeah, the willingness to make the next pass has this defense scrambled. Now here's Struess. They lead by their biggest margin of the game. It's at 15 points. Six to shoot. Levert passes to Struess. The deep three. Sinks it. What range from downtown. Struess has got 11. <laughs> I just love the ball movement. Utah shooting around 50% in the game so far. And Utah calls time here. We've seen Donovan Mitchell really having a great game. They know they need to change things up and do it quickly. They cannot allow him to keep running wild. in for Niang, and Garland is subbed in for Mitchell. On defense, the Cavaliers. George outside. Pass to Sensible. Here's Hendricks. Collins, high post. Just four to shoot. The Jazz need to get one up in a hurry. Nice shot by George. Well, after a less than stellar start in the first quarter, you like to see that shot go down. And the ball out of play. The Jazz will have it. And a look now at a few years' worth of data some of the assist numbers under the microscope for Darius Garland. And that decline in assist numbers over the last few years is what has made him more of a one-note player on offense. If he could integrate more passing back into his game, he'd be giving opposing defenses a much harder time. Here's Sensible. 13 points in the game. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Garland, the pass to Levert. Outside Struess. There's the triple. It's another three for Cleveland. 
And for so many teams in the NBA, establishing the three-point shot is goal number one on offense. He's definitely doing his part tonight. No doubt it's a growing trend, Greg, and he is highly accurate tonight. Now here's George. Give him eight. Pass to Sexton. Pulls up. He's got it. Three for seven now. This guy has got a variety of scoring moves. Colin Sexton keeps the opposition guessing. You know, when analyzing the game of Colin Sexton, this is a guy who can score from all three levels, Grant. You know, this is what his team has asked him to do, to be aggressive on offense and to shoot the ball with confidence too, B.A. Now here's George making a mark on the offensive end, scoring around 13 a game. Here's Collins. Oh, and Mobley with the block. Shooters have got to be careful and understand Evan Mobley is an elite shot blocker. He's going to let you feel him now, guys. Outside Struess. Back to Mobley. Outside Garland. To the inside. And it's Allen who slams it home. This young guy is a solid creator in pick and roll play. Darius Garland getting repetition and making a nice play. Here's Sensible. 13 points in the game. 11 seconds left in the first half. Eleven feet out. No good. Just a big time effort for Donovan Mitchell, providing a lot of it for opportunities, leading to nine points in the quarter. Back after this. Welcome, everybody. This game revealing a big disparity in play. What a performance so far for the Cleveland Cavaliers. All right, fellas, back in your playing days, what was your favorite city to eat in? Whatever city Kitty was in, I'd go steal his lunch, and we'd beat his team on the court the same night. But wait, just for the record, that never happened. Now let's talk about that first half. It's been a runaway success for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Their long-range game is dialed in, and that's despite the defense's best efforts. It's pretty impressive, even by today's standards. Yeah, hard to beat a team that's hitting a high volume of threes, that's for sure. That does it for halftime. Let's get back to game action. Here's Brian Anderson with the start of the third quarter. for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. What a game we're seeing from Donovan Mitchell. Yeah, they've done an amazing job of creating room to operate for him, and then, of course, executing. And one of the things every player is after is efficiency at the offensive end, and boy, this young guy has done just that. Colin Sexton out there with George. Then there's John Collins, and it's Sensabaugh in at small forward. And that's the group for Will Hardy as we begin the second half. And so it's Mitchell who brings up the ball for the Cleveland Cavaliers. 19-point game. Garland for three. That one falls. Nice setup by Mitchell. Three points. Mitchell's got four assists now tonight. Hard to win games when you allow clean looks from the perimeter. Pass to Sensabaugh. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Oh, he really fought for that one. Battling through contact to complete the play.
and Cleveland's shooting 65%. Their offense has been on another level. Mobley, a screen on George. Garland for three. Second chance shot. Mobley. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. Team foul. Shooting for Cleveland, Evan Mobley. One shot. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. And so it's Utah with it. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play, Collins outside. Pass to Sensabaugh. Shot clock at six. Here's George. Oh, rejected by Allen. Garland, the pass to Allen. Allen with a screen on Sexton. Back to Allen. And it's Allen who slams it home. Well, this highlights the agility of Jared Allen. So decisive, so quick in the pick and roll. George outside. Pass to Sensabaugh. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Max Struess picks one up. Second team foul. At the line for Utah. Two shots. And he can't get the first one. He hits the second from the line. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Outside Mitchell. Pass to Mobley. Outside Struess. Off target from outside. For Utah, they've gone just one of three in the second half. Garland against George. Collins outside. Sexton with it. Four on the clock. And another miss by Utah. The Cavaliers have gone three of five from the field in this third quarter. Garland against George. And he's going for the oop here. And it's Allen who slams it home. Oh my goodness, Jared Allen. Catch a body on the way to the cup. And the Jazz call time here. down of the teams that have not wasted their opportunities at the line in the last month. Number one, the Jazz. And looking at last month, this team really got it done from the charity stripe. Whenever you foul them, they made sure to make you pay for that mistake. And the Jazz with possession here. Down low. Oh, nice shot by Collins. Collins has got 11 points. If the contact wasn't going to hold Collins down, he explodes into it and finds the shot. Pass to Allen. Here's Mobley. Back to Allen. Outside Mitchell. Struess the pass to Garland. Here's Mitchell. 
Checked by Sexton. Five on the clock. Fires from deep. Mitchell misses. And so it's George with it. He brings it up for the Jazz. And the foul is called. He missed it. So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. And for a rookie, George is physically mature. He doesn't mind the contact at all. George. That's good from George. And there's no question George can fill it up. For him, it's about focusing on shooting good percentages. So after making the first, he goes one for two. And when discussing Jared Allen, Doris, what's the thing you like most about his game? Well, obviously the defensive end of the floor, B.A. Here's a guy that's going to try to contest absolutely everything at the rim. He gets after it on the backboards. And there's this delightful appreciation for just living in the moment that Jared Allen embraces. I love his personality and his game. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Hey, B.A., well, the Cavaliers are one of the best young teams in the league, and it's up to their point guard, Darius Garland, to help distribute. He said, quote, we have so much talent on the floor. I just try to get my big fellows the ball so they can stay active and work for us on the defensive end as well. That's the game within the game right there, right? Yeah, he's got the right idea. Good stuff, Allie. Thank you. Nice job drawing the contact on that move. Jared Allen, very difficult to contain because of his length. Shooting two. First free throw is good. Well, the perfect frame for a modern defensive big man. Jared Allen at 6'9 with a 7'5 wingspan. Yeah, and he's able to move laterally and contest vertically. Not a lot of flash to his game. More than effective, though, and he is a linchpin for them inside. So both free throws, good from Allen. And guys, I think the future is so bright for Jared Allen. We're talking about an athletic, mobile big man who has already proven to be an accomplished two-way player. Here's Hendricks. Looking at the numbers, he's putting up seven points a game. Here's Sensible. Struess grabs the miss. Struess has got his fourth rebound in this one. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. From deep, Mitchell. Oh, he's looking good tonight. He's drilled 9 of 15 so far. One of the real streak scorers in the game. Donovan Mitchell is heated up and percolating. Pass to Sensabaugh. Collins with a screen on Struess. From 12 feet. Sensabaugh, no good. The Cavaliers have gotten 5 of 10 shots to go. Mitchell, the pass to Garland. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Garland. That almost looked like bad communication. You hate to see that kind of mistake. Marcus Morris, he's checked in for Evan Mobley. The Jazz have gotten just three of eight shots to go in the third quarter. Sexton passes to Collins. Collins with a screen on Garland. It's George on the drive. Out to the right wing. Pass to Sexton. Six on the shot clock. From the arc. They get it back. Collins. Another basket. He's now six for seven in the contest. Boy, he's been cooking, but the teammates, he's just not getting a lot of support from them. Garland finds Mitchell. Back to Garland. On the wing, Mitchell, checked by Sexton with the step back. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. Allen's got eight points here in the quarter. Well, so often we're talking about Jared Allen's length, and he does it nicely on the offensive glass right there. Pass to Sensible. Here's Hendricks from deep. He buries it from three. Hendricks has got five. I'll tell you, you are 
are playing with fire anytime you leave this guy open, and they just got burned. Now here's Mitchell, beyond the arc, and the basket's good. Off the assist from Garland. Garland's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. George against Garland. Pass to Sexton. Now Collins. Here's Sensible. Puts up a three. And the call will be against John Collins. That's his first That's his foul of the game. Both teams Second are starting team to find foul. a rhythm here. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. And what a phenomenal replay of that impressive rejection. Oh, <laughs> showing no signs of giving up this lead. That block sends shockwaves into the opposition sails. The Jazz making a switch here. Clarkson's checked in. The Cavaliers have gone 7 of 13 in the second half. Garland, the pass to Allen. Back to Garland. Buckets. He's now 6 of 10 from the field. Okay, Jared Allen, we see you making that look for a big man. That's a pretty pass. It's George on the wing, guarded by Garland. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That's his first personal foul. Fourth team foul. And a moment to look at the scoring approach That's in terms of where the points are coming from Hendricks. for Cleveland. What a performance from beyond the arc in this game. They stuck to their guns, and it's paid off all game. I think it's also important we mention the number of assists this group has tallied. Their offense continues to just hum along right now. And the first one at the line is good. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And Doris, for the first time in league history, players can now own minority shares in NBA and WNBA teams. NBA, obviously, this is groundbreaking in terms of the context of American sports. No other league allows for this. I am really excited to see how it plays out. Now here's Garland. 16 points for him. Shoots over George. And there are the Cavaliers with another bucket. And so George will bring it up for the Jazz. Up top, Collins. Pass to Hendricks. Here's Sensible. The three is up. Hendricks, no good. Cleveland has gone three of seven from deep so far in the third quarter. Garland finds Mitchell. Takes a three. Utah with the rebound. Collins has got six rebounds in the game. Pass to Sensible from behind the arc. It's rebounded by Cleveland. And here's Garland. 18 points for him. Struess with it. Back to Garland. 4 3. Kept alive. Here's Allen, and count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Do you not love that by any means necessary attitude from Jared Allen, able to finish through the contact? Kessler, he's checked in for Utah. Niang, he's checked in for the Cavs. Levert comes in for Mitchell. Find the lane. One shot. And the free throw, no good. For Utah, they've gotten 6 of 14 shots to drop in this third quarter. Clarkson against Levert. Clarkson passes to Kessler. Over Struess. Kessler with a bucket. Kessler's got his first basket. 
And for the Cavaliers, they're shooting an amazing 61%. Looking confident. Levert finds Garland. And once again, off the mark by Cleveland. Utah has gone two of six from downtown here in the second half. Pass to Sensible. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Fourth personal foul. Fifteen foul. At the line for Utah. Two shots. And he drops the first. Done. He's checked in for George. Okoro is checked in for Cleveland. And so he hits both. And Cleveland's shooting about 53% on the third. A very good number. Niang outside. Pass to Okoro. Back to Niang. Clock at six. Two minutes remaining in the third. Outside Garland. Fires the three. Utah with the rebound. Collins has got his seventh rebound here tonight. Here's Sensible. Allen defending. Clarkson for three. Gets the three to fall. Clarkson's got his third basket on the night right there. Well, the one thing about Clarkson, a little bit inconsistent from deep, so that's a welcome sight for his team. Liang, pass to Okoro. Allen a screen. Here's Okoro. No points yet. Pass to Garland. Allen a screen. The three. That one's good. Garland for three. I'll tell you, this lead's not going anywhere with this guy making plays. What a quarter. And Grant, you watch Darius Garland. It often looks like he's a step ahead out there. He's got a great natural feel for the game, B.A. I mean, on the ball, he makes quick reads, and he'll create for himself and others. Off the ball, he always seems to be in the right spot and ready to fire. And the whistle blows as the basket counts. Chance at a three-point opportunity here. One free throw coming up. All right, the Jazz making a change here. Sexton's checked in. And a switch here also for Cleveland. Morris is checked in. One shot. He's forcing the action now, finally getting to the charity stripe after no freebies in the first half. Utah's got six out of 15 three so far in this game. Done. The pass to Clarkson. Three-pointer. The rebound by Allen. Allen's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Garland up top, defended by Dunn. And the officials will call the illegal screen here. You know, looking at the turnover story, they've had a few miscues along the way, but as we see on the scoreboard, it hasn't hurt them. The Cavaliers making a switch here. Thompson's checked in. Challenging stretch here for Utah. Five-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Outside Sexton. Back to Clarkson. The three is up. On oh, target from range. Clarkson's got ten points in the game. Now Garland. It could go. No good. Misses at the buzzer. And so it's Cleveland continuing to pile it on. Up 20. Hasn't taken them too many shots to get their points. They're winning with efficiency. 
More 2K action in just a moment. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. Woo, I'm fired up to see this dish one more time. It's always great to see your two guards share the wealth. We love the unselfishness, finding the best look, and it doesn't matter who's taking it. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. And so it's Garland who brings up the ball for the Cavaliers. And Cleveland looking at who they've got to start the fourth. Garland runs point with Mitchell at the two. Karis LeVert is out there with Isaac Okoro. And it's Thompson in at the five. Now here's Clarkson. Dunn outside. LeVert goes against Clarkson. Kessler powered down after the assist led him to the lane. Well, Jordan Clarkson's improved his ability to run the offense. How about that pass, guys? Garland for three. Kessler with a rebound. Kessler's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Done outside. Back to Sexton. Here's Kessler. That one's good for two. Kessler's got four points in the quarter. Well, a nice job by Colin Sexton to find the open man. You want to see court awareness from the young gun. Thompson passes to Mitchell. Here's Levert from outside the arc. That one falls. Nice setup by Mitchell. Three points. Mitchell's got his sixth assist of the night. The defense takes a chance, leaves him open at the arc, and he capitalizes. Now here's Clarkson. Kessler a screen. Back to Dunn. Pass to Kessler. Outside Horton Tucker. Launches a three. That shot missing. Cleveland has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Mitchell the pass to Garland. And stolen by Sexton. Dunn outside. Here's Kessler. Thompson pulls it in. The Cavaliers have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Now here's LeVert, defended by Horton Tucker. And it's Jordan Clarkson with the foul. That's his first foul of the game. Boy, you gotta say, Doris, in the last few years, we've seen fantastic MVP races in the league. What we have seen, B.A., is several players, not one or two, but several players, play at an MVP level in multiple seasons. And to me, that adds intrigue to the end of the season. The race has really gone up to the final couple weeks of the season. Uh, just high-level basketball, and you love that it's that competitive. Here's Clarkson. After the Cavs picked up a basket a moment ago. To the paint. Kessler down low, defended by Thompson. Done. The pass to Kessler. Six to shoot. Clarkson for three. Ooh, give him his fifth make of the game in ten attempts. I'll tell you, you have got to have a short memory. You put a poor first half behind you, and you get to work here in the second. Here's Merrill, defended by Dunn. Thompson passes to Mitchell. Morris outside. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. The Jazz have gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. Clarkson with the ball. Jacks up a three. And again, it's Utah with a three. I really like the way he's playing in this half. He looks so much more aggressive and confident. Pass to Mitchell, and looks like an illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. And that's only his first 
first miscue of the night. He's been unbelievably steady so far. Struess, he's checked in for the Cavaliers. Utah's gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by now. Back to Sexton. Thompson pulls it in. Listen, that's a look he can hit, but right now he can't throw it in the ocean. Pass to Struess. And that one is stuffed right through. Well, he may be a top scorer, guys, but Donovan Mitchell is not selfish. What a pretty pass. Here's Clarkson. And the shot goes down. After taking some time to find his rhythm, he's been unstoppable since the break. Here's Merrill, defended by Dunn. The three from Mitchell drains the triple. Mitchell's got 11 in the second half. Another triple for him. Three in the second half. Four total. Keep shooting it. Now here's Dunn. Clarkson outside. To the middle. And he throws it down with one hand. Really good execution by Jordan Clarkson. As a coach, you're always looking to maximize your team's consistency. That's good offense. And the whistle on the shot. Got some contact there. Misses the shot, but he'll shoot two. Shooting for Cleveland, Tristan Thompson at the line for two. Huh? Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw is good from Thompson. Yeah, they've really made a concerted effort to get to the line here in the second half. Both teams will make substitutions. He does not get the second one. Uh, Thompson knows he needs to keep working on that free throw shot. It definitely needs improvement. Pass to Sensabaugh. Here's Hendricks, covered by Struess. Now here's George. Five to shoot. Oh, wow. Drew the contact, and that three almost went in. So he'll go to the line for three free throws. First team foul. You know, not the smartest play a defender can make there. George. That's good from George. A different look for Cleveland. Allen, he's checked in for Thompson. And Darius Garland subbed in for Levert. And the second free throw is good. And he makes all three. And here's Garland. Inside. And Mitchell with the slam. Uh, Darius Garland playing the role of ball distributor to perfection. Pretty pass. Here's George. To the inside. Cavaliers with a rebound. Allen's got rebound number 11. Garland against George. From deep, Mitchell. The rebound by the Jazz. George outside. Over Garland. George with the bucket. George has got five points in the quarter. 
The Cavaliers have gotten five shots out of nine to go in this fourth. Outside Struess. That one's good. Matt Mitchell Struce. making the play. And the Cavaliers lead by 19. Woo! That man is laser focused. Now, that's bad defense for a team that has a long way to go to catch up. Well, credit the offense, though. If you're going to come with casual defensive effort, this team's responsibility is to take advantage, and they do. And a solid pick to free him up for the dunk. Boy, the timing there couldn't be any better. Uh, the execution was simply flawless. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you run that play. Now here's Struess. Allen outside. Just five to shoot. That three's off the mark. And so it's George with it. He brings it up for the Jazz. Trailing by 17. Collins with a screen on Struess. Out of bounds. It'll be Cleveland ball. Cleveland ball. Evan Mobley. He's checked in for Okoro. Number four. Evan Mobley. Cleveland has gone three of seven from the perimeter during the fourth. Pass to Mobley. Now Garland. George defending. Outside Mitchell. Mitchell double teamed. Here's Allen. That one falls. Eight of ten and scoring with confidence. After an ice-cold start to this game, he is pouring it on here in the second half. George against Garland. Here's Hendricks. Pass to Sensabaugh. Over Struess. Sensabaugh, no good. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. And there's Struess. That looks good. On the assist by Garland. Struess has got eight here in this quarter. Here's George. And a lot of NBA players and former players are getting into film production. How rewarding has that been, Grant? You know, B.A., storytelling is so gratifying and also so very important. Right. Players do have a voice like never before. And these ventures are just another way of expressing that voice. George against Garland. On the wing, Struess. And there are the Cavaliers with another bucket. What an aggressive mindset in this period. He's starting to take over. George against Garland. George outside. Pass to Sensabaugh. Here's Hendricks. Takes the three. Oh, and again, it's the Jazz from deep. What a beautiful stroke from range. Defensively, you've got to try to take him out of his comfort zone. Allen a screen. Here's Garland. And the Cavaliers get another bucket right there. Big night for Darius Garland. He's been a headache for the defense. Timeout called. The Jazz. The Jazz. With the timeout. Tell you what, this was one easy pick for sure. From the start, he looked in total control for the entire game. It's incredible to see a player outperforming everyone else on the court. Well, they are playoff bound with him rounding into form and playing some of his best basketball. They just got to continue to play together. and We'll see if he's able to keep playing at this level. There's the three. Utah with the rebound. Collins has got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Garland against George. Collins with a screen on Garland. George passes to Collins. Here's Hendricks. Six on the shot clock. Collins outside. And it's off from three-point range. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Pass to Mitchell. From deep, Mobley. That one falls. Nice setup by Mitchell. Okay, quick shooting from the big fella. Mobley knocking in the jumper. 
George against Garland. Here's Sensiball. To the paint. Here's Collins. And Collins with the slam. Whoa! Did you see that? John Collins. A little bit of sauce on that slam. There's the AT&T 5G slam cam capturing the moment. And those dreaded words, load management, never far away. You think 10 years from now, Doris, teams will still play back-to-backs? Well, B.A., we've certainly seen the league make great progress in cutting back on the number of back-to-backs that every team has to play. But this is challenging. You have an 82-game schedule that begins in October and ends in June. I'm laying odds uh, that they continue to eliminate the four games and five nights, but I don't think back-to-backs are ever going away completely. That free throw is good for Mitchell. Well, Grant, there's one thing Mitchell will always be remembered for by Cavs fans. Oh, so true, B.A. I mean, 71 points in a game in the 2022-23 season, setting a Cleveland franchise record. And for a franchise that has had so many great players, including the likes of LeBron James. Both free throws good for Mitchell. One of the things about Donovan Mitchell's game that I love is he's got elite athleticism. There is speed, there's burst, and there's physical strength. This guy is very capable offensively. Right side, Horton Tucker. Pass to Kessler. Don outside. Here's Samanich. Connect from downtown. Looks like it'll be a big win for them here. Time to just cruise to the end of the game and chalk up the victory for the Cavaliers. Offensively, they made the most of their trips. They found multiple ways to score consistently, and a little luck doesn't hurt them either. They also got some nice bounces off the rim tonight, too. And with another win in the bag, they've racked up 46 total on the year. And they have to feel pretty good about themselves, taking the first two games of the season between these teams. And it was a reliably solid performance from one of their key guys. A tremendous game for Donovan Mitchell. Efficient productivity. You love what this guy has given to you on the offensive end. Now here's Thompson. Outside Mitchell. We've got 13 seconds left in the game. Here's Merrill. And the Cavaliers, another three. Showing us that killer instinct right now. No letting the foot off the gas for them. And you want to save your best for last. Tonight, they've done that and then so. And so it's the Cavaliers taking care of business in this one. This one wasn't even close. The hometown crowd was waiting for a miracle that never came. Yeah, and this team was consistent throughout. They met every challenge, and they earned this dub. And that about wraps it up. For Ali LaForce, Grant Hill, and Doris Burke, this is Brian Ann.